as the people of Israel continued to travel in the, in the wilderness, they came to a place that didn't have any water. They went to Moses and said, we, we wish we would have died with our brothers under the hand of God. You, you brought us here with all kinds of promises, but we don't see any farms or fig trees or, or vineyards. And on top of that, we don't have any water for us or our livestock. God said to Moses, Gather the people together and stand in front of them with, with your staff. Turn and speak to the rock. And there will be plenty of water for all the people and their livestock. So Moses gathered the people and stood before them. He said, You are a bunch of rebels. Do you expect me to bring water out of this rock? And he took his staff and he turned and hit the rock twice. The water gushed out. There was plenty of water for everybody. But the Lord was not pleased. He said to Moses and Aaron, you, you didn't trust my power. And all these people saw you disrespect my command. Therefore, you will not lead the people into the land that I promised them. The people traveled to the border of the country of Edom. Moses sent a message to the king requesting permission to just travel through their land. And he reassured the king that they would not bother anything and, if they, uh, and they would pay for any of the water that they would drink. The king of Edom refused to let them travel through the land and sent an army to, the, to their borders, threatening war if they dare come into Edom. So Moses turned away, started traveling around Edom. As they were traveling, the Lord said to Moses, Aaron is about to die. Therefore, take the high priest garments off of him and put them on to Eliezer, his son. Moses did this, and shortly afterwards, Aaron died. All of Israel mourned his death. They continued to mourn his death for 30 days before they traveled on. As they continued around Edom, the people once again complained to Moses. They said, we... We didn't have to come here to die. We, we could have done that in Egypt. And we don't have any water, and we hate this awful food. The Lord sent, sent snakes among them, poisonous snakes. Started to bite the people, and they started to die. They, 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 they ran to Moses and said, oh, We have sinned. We should not have complained against you and the Lord. Uh, pray to God and ask him to, to please get rid of the snakes. The Lord said to Moses, Make a bronze snake. Put it on a pole. Lift it up and tell the people, that, if they, that they will be healed from their snake bite if they'll just look towards the bronze snake. The people of Israel traveled up to the border of the Amorites. Moses sent a message to the kings that, please, allow us to 
travel through your land. We will not disturb anything and we'll do no harm. The Amorite king refused to let them travel through the land. And on top of that, he sent an army that attacked Israel. Israel fought back and was victorious. They totally defeated the Amorites. They, they captured all their cities and started to live in them. And they controlled all the land all the way to the border of the Ammonites. 